Hello and welcome. This is Rufo Monger and my friends. We are continuing on with our series looking at some of the Street Fighter 6 characters. Thanks to all the new footage from the new build of the game. And today, well, we're looking at Ken Masters. Now Ken, you know, Ken's Ken, right? Not too much different, not shaking the boat too, too much, but there is some new things and we're going to go into all of it. Before we do, though, once again, big thank you very much to Justin Wong as he provided the footage, and there wouldn't be a video without it, so Justin, thanks a bunch. Now, let's get to the move set before anything. Not gonna blow your mind too much on some of these. Hey, he has a Hadouken. Hey, he has a Shoryuken, right? The uppercut. That's his classic signature move. He has the Hurricane Kick, and just like always, his is a lot flashier than Ryu's. EX version especially has a lot of corner carry. That's really good and really handy. He has an aerial version, which has like, you know, kind of arcs, which you can use for things like cross-up gimmicks, fun stuff. But now we do have some all new things like the Dragon Lash Kick. Ken leaps forward, goes above a lot of things. He can go over some lows, it would seem, just by the angle here, and attacks you. And EX version also bounces and juggles, as we'll see later in the gameplay footage, and basically is just a new tool in his arsenal. So if you remember Street Fighter V, this would have been similar to his V skill 2, although it's not quite the same. Generally speaking, it looks a lot better. And the other new move here is the Jinrai Kick. So this is basically gimmick central. Has three possible follow-ups. After you do the initial move, you can follow up with a light. And if you do a light follow up, then it's a low. So you have to block this, well, low, right? So if we have a low, well then, we gotta have an overhead, right? And that's exactly what the medium follow up is. So do the base move, medium kick follow up, and that's an overhead now. And now we have a low overhead and we just have a regular follow up with heavy kick. So this is basically your damage option. Did you actually get the hit? Well then, this is what you wanna combo out with. Gives a knockdown so he can follow up and pressure after the fact, all that fun stuff. And naturally there's EX options as well, but basically this gives Ken much more mix-up potential as he can overhead or low you on the spot and you kind of just got to guess. Supers wise, this is his level 1 super here, and it's also invincible startup so that's pretty handy. His level 2 super is actually uh, reminiscent of Third Strike, you even see the lightning flash right when he starts it, so that's kind of cool, I like that. Callbacks are always welcome, especially in Street Fighter. And finally, the big level three. Everyone's got their big level three. And it's a big old uppercut party here. The description specifically calls out as well, if you whiff the initial hit of the move, it changes the animation of the move, and you'll just do more shoryukens. So if you whiff the first hit, basically not all is lost. So that's a lot of the basic stuff, but here's some of the fun stuff that's returning. Ken maintains his mini run from Street Fighter V. So it was his V skill 1 Street Fighter 5 and now it's just baked into the core move set and it's as simple as pressing any two kicks together. Pressing light kick stops the run short, pressing medium kick gives you one of his crazy kicks, which is a big old overhead kick, and pressing heavy kick gives you his toe kick, which he's had in a lot of variations in a lot of different Street Fighter games. Besides that, he maintains his medium and heavy punch target combo, which is a staple for him in Street Fighter 5 and will be in this game I'm sure, and a new triple hitting target combo with three kicks. So basically a lot of classic Ken, but with some new tricks to work around with. So now before we get directly into the gameplay though, one thing to note is Ken is a dangerous criminal and this is confirmed by Capcom themselves. And this video here is purely for educational purposes. I do not condone his criminal behavior. Some might say he's framed, but you know what? He's a billionaire from old money, so I'm not necessarily putting my stock in that. So out of the gate here, some of the gameplay, there's some mundane changes that don't seem too big, but are big in of themselves, and that's one of them right there. So Ken catches the other Ken in the air, just jump medium into Tatsu. And you know, combo out, right? That's kind of like whatever, right? You've seen that a million times in a million games, but usually you see something like that from Ryu where he has the juggle property. Ken, not so much. In Street Fighter V, he can't do anything approaching this because, well, one, his jump medium doesn't have any juggle points, and two, none of his air normals are special cancelable into anything in Street Fighter V. So this is just straight bonus, straight buff. It's not a big, big deal, but it's definitely great quality of life change. And here, if you played a lot of Street Fighter V, Ken, this should be welcoming. You don't gotta learn too many new combos. So Strike into Light Tatsu very easily goes and juggles into EX Shoryu. So it's pretty basic, it's what you expect, but you know, Ken still got the same old tricks. How about new tricks though? So 
This right here, crouch medium into a regular counter, not even a punish counter. And he does his run and run cancels the run into the Shoryu, which is something you're allowed to do now. It gives it a different animation, which is pretty cool. In Street Fighter V, this is not possible. You couldn't cancel out the run for nothing. It just wouldn't work. And here, well, it totally does work. So it gives him like opportunities and whiff punishes and just plain old neutral stuff to get more pressure and more damage. Here we can see the new EX Dragon Lash kick in action. So basic head firm, medium into heavy. And you notice here the Dragon Lash kick switches sides. So that can be useful. It can also be bad depending on the situation, right? But it is what it is there. Returning to what we mentioned before, you can see again the uh, anti-air jump into Tatsu. And at bare minimum, if you can call out a jump, this is basically just more damage than if you can land the shore you can, right, as an anti-air. So more damage, more better. Moving forward a bit, we can see a very interesting combo that really showcases some of Ken's new power. Not this one here, but the combo following. So first up here, a jab into a medium. That's a counter hit combo, I'm assuming, otherwise Ken's gonna be pretty crazy. And then, okay, this looks pretty basic what you're seeing following, but let's rewind. So after the jab into the medium here, drive cancel, and then crouch heavy punch, run, cancel the run, still have enough frame advantage to combo after the fact into a crouching medium. So in case you're unaware, a hit from a drive rush has more hit stun than normal. That's part of the bonus, right? But the fact that he has such a wild amount of hit stun that he's allowed to drive cancel, do the hit, and then do a run, then stop and still continue a combo after the fact is very wild. And the computer, like it could have did like more than what it did there in that situation too. And who knows what's truly optimal anymore, right? You can get very creative with combos from a drive rush is what I'm trying to say. There's so much we already know, but there's still so much to be discovered. The mechanics are definitely at the heart of the game is what I'm trying to say. The character stuff is great too, don't get me wrong, but just basic stuff like this, like this upcoming combo here, uses the drive rush, turns a crouch light kick into a confirm for the mediums because it has such additional hits done, right? That's really wild stuff. I said it way back in the day that drive rush might be the single most important mechanic of all the new mechanics and kind of looking that way, honestly. Also to speak on just general footsies neutral, can stand heavy kick, always been a good button, especially in Street Fighter V, and punish counter in a lot of ways is like crush counter in Street Fighter V. So you can see here that stand heavy kick and it launches the opponent when it does a punish counter. In Street Fighter V, same scenario, we can run after the fact and then kind of just do whatever combo, right? And I'm assuming it's gonna be much the same as Street Fighter VI. So those basic button presses are gonna be pretty important all in all. But that's the big stuff, you know? Potentially the little stuff can change a lot. We've seen an example of that earlier just with a crouch medium punch getting into a run canceled uh, Shoryu, right? That stuff he couldn't do in Street Fighter V, so that could be very big. But what about even smaller things? Like Ken's standing light kick in Street Fighter VI is patently absurd. How absurd? Well, let it speak for itself here. To say it has a generous hitbox? I don't know, it looks pretty good to me, right? Looks like the other Ken's uh, attempting a crouching medium kick. But regardless, right, looks pretty good. This is a counter hit, but if it was, say, a punish counter with the additional frame data buff, you know, would it be able to lead to a uh, Hadouken? A simple two hit combo. I know it normally would never combo by itself. Move just seems really, really good is what I'm trying to say. Like, look at that. That's crazy. That's a bun. Compare that to the Street Fighter V version of the move. Yeah, they aren't really comparable too much as you can see, right? Just buttons wise, neutral wise, he's doing way, way better than the Street Fighter V version of Ken for sure. And that's about it. Ken's not going to shock you. He's not going to blindside you, right? Ken is Ken. He's Ken with new and better tools, absolutely. But he's still Ken in the end. I think at this point of everyone's lives, you know, you know if you like Ken or not, right? For me, he's a criminal now. I can't support his criminal endeavors. Maybe you can. I can't. But like a lot of the returning characters, they're basically a greatest hits a kind of ultimate version of all the fun stuff they've had in the past can no different than the rest. The one final thing I want to say, and this has nothing to do with the gameplay, it's just purely like Street Fighter story thing, is Ken was always supposed to be three-fourths Japanese. And 
definitely doesn't look like it anymore. He looks like Chad Chatterson, right? And I guess that's not really a big deal in the end. Ken's always supposed to be the American character, but things have definitely changed over time. But all that said, all that put behind us, if you like Ken, this definitely looks like a fun and really strong version of Ken. Uh, he can definitely play the neutral in a way that was a little bit more difficult for him in the past uh, with these very nice buttons he has. And, you know, a lot of Ken players, maybe they won't bother playing neutral too much, but <laughs> we'll worry about that when the beta happens. But yeah, just like Guile, like Chun-Li, like a lot of the returning cast, like Ryu even, like just really strong versions of themselves. I know I'm harping on a little bit, but I just, I'm really excited. I just think it's a truly great thing. So that all said, just like all the other character breakdown videos, I'm going to leave you here with some raw match footage. Just a complete match with two level eight CPUs doing their best and showing you maybe some tricks you can learn for the upcoming beta. So that's it for me. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well and go out and play some Street Fighter. Whoa. How is this rematch going to play out? Are we going to witness a blow up here? Player two just put themselves on equal footing with that super. Nobody blink. The move whiffs and they get nailed with a punish counter. Player 2 is maintaining the corner position for some juicy damage. Player 2 just the hold your breath. We are near the end of the round. Can either fighter pull a rabbit out of their hat here? Hey ho! Player 2 takes the round like a thief in the night. What else can they get away with? Round 2. Fight! That attack landed for a counter hit. They'll have to decide how to follow up. Jin right kick for a mix up. Player one really suffers there in the corner for a while. How can they avoid being put there this round? It's a good spot to use a super. Player one is in a pretty good situation with a meter advantage. At least one of them is having a good time in that corner. What's the next move? In there! Player two is the last fighter standing. 